Hey, what's up you guys? Did you miss me? Oh, come on. You have to miss the brown guy. How are you guys doing? Did you guys hear about a sinkhole that happened in Florida? This thing was huge. I'm talking about 100 feet deep and 20 feet wide. Jeff Bush was 37 years old, was a victim to the sinkhole. The sinkhole happened underneath his bedroom and it caved in his whole bedroom in his house. And of course, he fell through the hole and was pronounced dead. He was falling through the hole. He was yelling for help. And that's when his brother came in his room and realized there's no freaking floor. It's like, holy crap, can you imagine that you're walking into your brother because he needs help and whoa, like what the hell just happened? So his brother came running in there with a shovel to try to shovel him out. But this thing is like 100 feet deep. There's no way he's getting to him. And at this point, you're just feeling so bad for this guy. He just lost his brother in the hole. No one actually found his body, even up to this day. You guys are probably like, well, how do you know that this guy is actually dead? They're Basing his death on the impact, him falling 100 feet deep is more than enough to kill any person on this earth. So right now people are trying to look for him but they can't really get close to this hole because it's just so unsafe. What if you're looking for this guy and then all of a sudden the next bedroom caves in? Really sad story because what if that 1% chance he was falling, he grabbed onto something and he now he's just like hanging in a big hole and there's no one there to save him. This is just so crazy. I mean, what are they gonna do with this hole? Is there just gonna be a hole there forever? But guess what, sinkholes are actually a little bit more common than you guys think. In the state of Florida, they actually sit on limestone. In some parts of Florida, the limestone is actually pretty thin. And on top of the limestone, there's a little layer of clay. And guess what, with limestone and clay, once there's water, it can actually dissolve it. And that's what happened in this case. It dissolves and boom, sinkhole. Right now, engineers have actually been testing the area and a house that's nearby to see if another sinkhole can possibly happen. What if you're this guy's neighbor? I mean, if I was this guy's neighbor and that guy's house just fell in a hole, I would have to pack up my bags and go. This brown guy isn't taking any chances at all. Do you guys think that this guy knew that sinkholes can happen? Even if he did, how are you to know that it was going to happen to you? Anyways, guys, what do you think? of the story. My condolences goes to him, his family, and to his friends.